Okay, let's do the raven in Descript. The. Let's start with the word the. This is a very, very common word. Obviously, we use it a whole bunch. Uh, the th combination, as you should know by now, is this. The goes underneath. You can actually do this whole word without lifting the pen a single time. There you go. The. Okay, this word is very commonly used. You can make it a square. You can make it tall, long, short, fat. You can even find some more liberties by using other combinations, but we're just going to use that one. I've been using that for quite a while now, and I have no desire to use any other the. <laughs> okay, raven. Let's start with the simplest possible combination. R, A, make a word line out of the main point of the, the A, V, E, N. Okay, so this is the word raven in its simplest possible form. We've done the combination A, V before, so we know some various ways we can do that. We can add the V there. We can add the V there. There's various options available to us. So, now, what do we want to try to make it look like? Let's first try to make a Chinese square-like version. So, R, A, V, E, what side do I want to fill most? Maybe over here, let's say. Ah, uh, that didn't help. It looks a little skewed, but you pull that down and you're done. You get the idea. Okay, so we've got a kind of boxy shape. Great for using alongside Chinese characters. Now let's uh, try to make one that's... I don't know, let's try to be creative here. Let's just try to be aesthetically pleasing and add some curves and style to it. There we go. Now, it's a little harder to read when you start doing that, but so is any language. It can, you, as you can see, you can start to create some extremely beautiful logos and emblems out of English words.